Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to this week's video. <laughs> hey everyone, thanks for joining us today. I got Pastor Chris with me. Right. In proxy of our guest preacher from last Sunday. Right, the Reverend. Ger the Reverend, Reverend Gerald Sillier. Gerald Silliers. Uh, it's been awesome this summer with the Proverbs uh, Wisdom Speak series. We've been having guest speakers. Right. And so this last Sunday, Gerald Silliers, the Reverend, He's talking about so, pride. Which talking about pride, which is a difficult topic. Di we, difficult we topic a, for sure. Hard one, yeah, but yeah. Uh, give us a quick recap of what he well, touched on. One of the things he said in scripture is that that pride is described in many ways, and so he went through this like exhaustive list of like how the Bible mentions pride, and mm -hmm. it's a bit overwhelming when you think of it. He talked about craving attention, self pity, comparing, self reliance, entitlement, or mocking God, and that was just part of the list yeah. that he talked about mm -hmm. with pride. Uh, and and he said that one of the the proverbs that he talked about. Is, um, is Proverbs 8.13, the fear of the Lord is the hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance are the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. This is what the Lord is saying. So like, wow. God doesn't like pride because pride inflates ourselves. And one of the definitions he, he talked about is that, that pride is basically like, you know, us almost taking that place of God and, and putting ourselves uh, in that in that hmm. place of God, yeah. And then he mentioned this one, and I, I love this that he says. He says, "Pride is a sense of one's self worth out of touch with reality." So mm. you, say that again. Say that again. Pride is a sense of one's self worth out of touch with reality. Wow. So you've inflated yourself. You know, you almost make yourself godlike. Mm -hmm. uh, and Scripture tells us to have sober judgment of ourselves and to think of ourselves not at highly. Uh, but as as we should so it was a real challenging sermon yeah 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 and there's kind of three takeaways that he he landed on what were those right. first? Uh, well one of the big things he, he talked about was it, it's not what you know but it's how you walk it's how you walk so he said if we want to be people who are not walking in pride there's there's three kind of key steps and then he he rounded it up with this beautiful thing he said number one uh, we need to be people who walk in faith because this mm -hmm. orients us towards God so that means not walking in what we see but walking in faith you know being people who are gonna get out of the boat as Jesus calls us mm -hmm. he said number two keeping step with the spirit uh, which brings us into prayer and the word right and when we're when we're listening to the spirit we're keeping a step with him we're following the very things of Jesus um, and then he he also talked about this last bit is walking in humility which means the opposite spirit so if pride is to see yourself as greater than you are it's to walk in a way that puts yourself in a proper God perspective you see yourself um, as a redeemed child of God but yet you know that he's the amazing creator of the world and then one of the things so this is like three real practical things but one of the things he said that was so powerful in the sermons he talked about uh, when Jesus says you know if someone strikes you on one cheek turn the other cheek Someone asks you for your cloak, give him your shirt too. Uh, if a soldier asks you to carry his pack for a while, carry it for two. And he said, something is broken. Something happens mm -hmm. um, in, in the spiritual realm. When you do those things that, that turns pride on its head and says, if you're asking for something from me, I'm gonna give more. That's what mm -hmm. I'm gonna do. And so there's something not only practical about those three things, but there's something spiritual about doing something in the spirit of humility and it breaks something off in the spirit. So mm -hmm. if you haven't had a chance to watch the sermon, uh, I'd encourage you to watch it was a really good sermon and we got one more week left uh, in the, the Wisdom Speak series and uh, Reverend Jose Mendoza is preaching mm -hmm. uh, so make sure you join us on Sunday morning in person or online at 9 a.m. Love to have you.